Welcome back. The Asian Development Bank says the COVID-19 pandemic could cause global economic losses of between six and nine trillion dollars. That's more than double an earlier projection of four trillion. The upper end of the range could become a reality if curbs on movement and business last six months, while the lower estimate assumes restrictions in place for just three months. The losses in Asia alone would be up to $2.5 trillion, and China would account for half that amount. Earlier, we spoke to chief economist of the Asian Development Bank, who said countries must cooperate to recover quickly. Due to COVID-19, there is uh, some um, uh, permanent scars um, uh, and, uh, uh, you know, likely uh, risk of uh, countries setting back from uh, globalization. But I think this is very important to reaffirm the importance of an uh, open economy and open uh, trade uh, investment so that the uh, country can um, uh, continue uh, to to gain out of a uh, really tightly connected uh, supply chain network and uh, trade and investment. And for more, we're joined by Swan Tech King from UOB. So, Tech King, you know, the Asian Development Bank says that COVID-19 could shave almost 10% off global output. Is that how you see it as well? Well, I think that is, uh, hi, Glenda, that is, uh, I think, um, the number, the kind of range that we're looking at. For instance, if you look at China, I think the drop was like minus 6 over percent, and then Singapore minus 2%. And second quarter, I think it's going to get even worse for most of the Asian economies, uh, despite, for instance, uh, earlier this uh, week, we had the Malaysian uh, first quarter GDP, but the second quarter, I think it's going to look really bad. So uh, for the ADB numbers, I think it looks like it's going to be um, about that uh, uh, from what from what I look at, from what I'm looking at, Glenda. And how is China going to shoulder the challenges of the trade war and the demand drop that's never to be going to come from the US and Europe? Right, Steve. Um, uh, next week, uh, China is going to have its uh, two sessions or the uh, NPC session. Uh, so I think along the way, um, China is already doing quite a bit of things. For instance, uh, they already issue all these uh, uh, retail vouchers, consumption vouchers or you know spending vouchers to its uh, people for many cities. Then the other thing is that we can see we are going to expect a lot more uh, investment uh, spending in, uh, in uh, infrastructure uh, development in China, especially uh, related to technology, what they call new infrastructure investment. So that would offset some of the demand uh, destruction that we are seeing uh, right now, where Europe and US basically are still in a lockdown mode, Steve. Taking which ASEAN economy has been hit the worst by the pandemic? I think most of, I think all these uh, ASEAN economies are largely uh, being hit uh, quite badly. I think Singapore, I think you're going to see uh, quite a bad set of numbers uh, in the uh, second quarter. If you, you can imagine right now, Singapore is still under uh, some kind of lockdown mode. We are already in uh, May, uh, going into uh, June, basically. And then Malaysia, there's another one. We're going to see some uh, bad numbers coming in. So I think Malaysia and uh, uh, Singapore, and then the other one is Thailand. Thailand this year is going to hit quite badly as well. Uh, because of the uh, tourism numbers and the country is uh, slowly getting out of uh, is a lockdown but i think thailand i think is going to see quite a uh, massive uh, destruction uh, in terms of its uh, gdp and the economy uh, this year we're talking about like minus five minus six that's our sort of number for the full year uh, for thailand uh, glenda and just to end on an optimistic note uh, what will you be looking out for as a sign of stability and recovery Right, Steve, I think we cannot be too uh, pessimistic about these things. Uh, indeed, I think uh, uh, I think some countries are slowly getting out of uh, this uh, lockdown mode, especially in Southeast Asia. Uh, for China, they have already come out. Uh, I think Vietnam is one of the, I think, first to come out, although there are some uh, infection cases, and Thailand uh, slowly getting out from its uh, lockdown mode or the restrictions mode, and Malaysia, and then Singapore as well. So all these, I think, point to, I think, some stabilization. I think towards the second half of the year, I think we should look forward to the recovery mode in the second half of this year. And also, I think going into next year as well. I think companies should get ready uh, for, for the recovery and also individuals as well, Steve. Okay, well, thank you so much for your thoughts uh, with us, uh, sharing them with us this evening. Swan Tech Kin from UOB.